35mm colour slides, hands up those who remember them. This short video is about digitising those slides so we can get them on our computers, enhance them, get the memories back, get some nice prints done off them, bringing back our history. Also we'll have a discussion about uh, possibly some damage to those slides, having a look how they've weathered over the years. I think we've got to be careful, get them digitised before you lose them, they're not going to last forever. 35mm slides. I had them processed, they used to come in a box like this. There's probably 20 in this box. 10 there. 10 here. You should look at them through a slide projector. The other way is hold them up to the light. Selecting the good ones to digitise, that's well worth doing because the good ones in there we can make, put them on our computers and we can make them into the good images of today. So we've got our old 35mm slide. We need to send it off somewhere to get it high res scanned. I'm going to recommend to you somebody here, I don't think Jason at Update Photo would mind me just pointing you in his direction. I'm sure there's other people do it as well, but Jason has done mine for me. So we send off our slides to update photo. Get them high res scanned. Only costs about 60p each. Well worth doing. Comes back to you. Oh, I like mine on a nice DVD like that. Label it up. And then we're ready to get these, I think I've got 16 on here, really looking forward to seeing them. Get them on the computer and we can have a look at them. Let's just click this CD on the drive and see what we've got. Click it on there, make sure that's in nicely. Press your drive in. Fire up. And that should come up on the screen nicely. There's all our images, so we're now going to copy those onto our computer. I like to copy and paste them into my folder, so there's all the images. So we'll select all, Control A, and we'll copy them, Control C, and we'll find our folder. Got originals, click in there and control V and away it will go and there's all our images. So there we are, there's all our images. I mean I've just renamed them, uh, I've put Orig on the end so that I know they're the originals because we are going to, we've got them on our computer now, so we can't wait to get enhancing them and having a look at them, that sort of thing. So let's have a go at uh, that one slide that we were looking at. I'm so excited about this. That that's our image there, 16. I've numbered it 16 Orig to show the original. So let's have a look. From that little slide, we've had it high res scanned, and there, that's on screen. Look at that. There's some tidying up to do. First thing I want to check out here is it, the sky. That looks like the emulsion's been cracking. So let's have a look on the... We blow it up a bit and look at that. I didn't know that, but the emulsion on these old slides, it's, it's cracking. See that mosaic pattern on there? Uh, We'll have a look at that. I mean, it's still a lovely photo, but there's a warning to us all. Uh, get your old slides scanned, high res, get them on your computer, because they're not going to last forever. Colour negatives. These are scan as well. These will come up good. These will appear in a slideshow I'm doing shortly. Let's have a just a quick look at one of those ones that we've got from a negative. That won't I don't think that'll have any damage on it. This one's from a negative. Let's open that. that. 
and look at that lovely blue sky there and if we enlarge that one that's pretty clear there's no damage to that negative again a bit of sharpness we can work on in Photoshop and but I haven't seen these images for years it's just so nice to see them again may be able to publish them brings back the atmosphere superb I'll just leave you with um, the finished scans of two of the slides that we've been talking about brings back memories for me so come on you guys go and find your old slides and eggs and get them digitized thanks for watching bye